Israel has raided Gaza's main Al Shifa hospital. It accused Hamas of using the site as a military base, though this claim is disputed. A fire broke out at the hospital amid gun and missile fire by the IDF. More than 30,000 people are currently sheltering at Al Shifa in increasingly dire conditions. The humanitarian situation in Gaza remains desperate, with aid groups saying it is nearly impossible to distribute assistance over land due to Israel's blockade. Afghanistan says Pakistan's air force has conducted airstrikes targeting two of its border provinces and killing at least eight people. Taliban officials say the victims were women and children. They're calling it a violation of Afghan sovereignty. Afghan forces have now carried out retaliatory strikes towards Pakistani territory. North Korea fired what is presumed to be multiple short-range ballistic missiles toward the East Sea Monday morning. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff detected several SRBMs at 7.44 a.m. launched toward the East Sea from the Pyongyang area. It appears that at least three ballistic missiles flew approximately 300 kilometers northeast. The flight distance from Pyongyang to South Korea's Kaerungdae military headquarters is also approximately 300 kilometers. Japanese authorities said the missiles reached a maximum altitude of about 50 kilometers. Given this data, experts believe it is likely that the SRBMs were KN-25s, which have allegedly been exported to Russia. Vladimir Putin has won a fifth term as president in a landslide election victory. Russia's number one faced no credible opposition candidates amid a ruthless crackdown on dissident and critical voices. Russian election officials said Putin, who will now serve another six-year term, won more than 87 percent of the vote. In his victory speech, he vowed to press on with the war in Ukraine and strengthen Russia's army. Yankee go home. That's the message from Niger's junta to the some 1,000 American troops stationed in the country. The American presence on the territory of the Republic of Niger is illegal and violates all the constitutional and democratic rules. Niamey's decision to tear up a military cooperation agreement signed in 2012 follows a coup d'etat last July. With softer diplomacy than France, the United States didn't call it a coup until months later. And despite a visit from an American delegation last week, Niger has made its mind up. At least 16 soldiers, including four officers, were killed in southern Nigeria while responding to a distress call during fighting between two communities, defense officials confirmed on Saturday. The attack in the Oil Rich River in Delta State happened in the Bomadi Council area Thursday when the soldiers, deployed to keep the peace, were surrounded by some community youths and killed. The attack led to the death of the commanding officer, two majors, one captain and 12 soldiers.